This is Michael Archambeau with Windows Phone Central, and today we're going to take a look at two apps, Office Lens and Cam Scanner for Windows Phone, to see which one can help you sort out your paperless digital lifestyle. So while many of us have outgrown paper, and now use devices like our surfaces or uh, other tablets to manage information, we can't but help but run into people who still hand out stacks of paper. Uh, whether you're a business person or a student, uh, you're bound to have papers handed to you at some point. So let's take a look at two of the apps that can help you manage that. The first we're going to look at is Cam Scanner. Let me just back this up a bit. There we go. So this is Cam Scanner. Now this came out first. This was before uh, Office Lens, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, Cam Scanner is an all-in-one uh, application. So you take your pictures, you can tag them, uh, and they'll, they're uploaded to uh, Cam Scanner's uh, own servers for storage and backup. So when you open the app right away, you get this all documents view. This gives you a list of uh, different documents. So these are actually categories. So I can click in um, and there's category groupings. So if I have to scan, like, let's say this entire packet, uh, I can do so and group them nicely. I can also go ahead and tag a bunch of things. And then on the right, I'm sorry, the left hand side here, uh, they can show up in different categories. Right now, nothing is tagged. So everything just shows up under untagged. Um, it's very simple to capture something. There's a uh, capture button right at the bottom of the screen. You're just going to tap that and that's going to launch you into camera mode. From here there's two simple buttons. We can either go ahead and uh, control the flash here uh, or we can go ahead and click to select a photo from our existing library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scan this document so you can see how this works in real time. Uh, in the Windows Phone article actually we'll include a link uh, so you can take a closer look at the PDF file it generates. So I'm just going to hold this up above. Now the lighting's not even here. We have kind of a paper with a curled edge. We have lighting coming in from the window. But I'm going to take a photo anyway. Super fast focus. Okay, and after I take that photo, you're going to notice it goes right back to the camera. Uh, and this is going to let me take the next picture. So if you have a collection, let's say I'm scanning this entire packet, two, three, Okay, I can do this very quickly and it will group them together in a category. When I'm done, I'm just going to hit the check button here. And you can see we now have all the documents. Um, now we're going to go into each and every one of them and we can actually make changes. So I'm going to click on the first one here. And you're going to see this is what first comes up. But this is not very, this is not edited at all. Okay, but we can go ahead and edit it. Uh, so to do so, we're going to click on it. And we're going to hit edit. And we're going to drag and align here. And this is much quicker. I'm just doing this a little bit slower to show you guys. Um, what's nice is this app has a magnification. So I can see exactly what I'm outlining. It's going to hit next. Uh, and you'll see what's really nice about this is it actually goes ahead and tries to digitize it. Uh, and make it more readable. Usually this is just by increasing the contrast. Um, so there's a multitude of options. You have the original, lightened, magic, uh, black and white, and grayscale. Uh, so in this case, the black and white one looks really nice. See, I could zoom in. Uh, you get really nice crisp text. And I can even fine tune everything. I'm going to save that. Okay, I can flip to the next one. I can go ahead and uh, edit the next one, re-edit. I'll do one more. Okay. Now, if you do this in broad daylight or somewhere really sunny, um, the, the software will actually know where the edges, edges of the page are, uh, and it also knows how to align it correctly. So right now the black and white setting is working really well, and we're getting really crisp uh, results. Using. I'm just going to add this last page. So this is pretty quick. This one and this one, you could see it automatically picked out uh, the, the edges, which is great. So we're just going to hit next. No worry about the edges, it will straighten it out. If it's not straight, hit black and white because that's what's working in this instance. And check, and that's it. So now we have all of these. You see it would flip through them. 
Okay, and we have all the, uh, they're done very nicely. There's also an OCR ability here. I can hit OCR, give it a second, and it will pick out text. Um, it works pretty well in this instance. Um, I never found OCR to be 100% correct, but it is there. You can place notes, uh, and you can add annotations. Um, unlimited if you have the premium membership, which we'll talk about in a second. So scanning is really easy. Uh, and now if we go to all documents, I didn't name the collection, but you see we have something called new document two up here. And this is the collection of what I just scanned. So this is quite nice. It's great for sorting packets, or if you have a whole bunch of papers uh, for, for a certain class or certain meeting, uh, you have it all in one place. So that's how that works. If I want to go ahead and share it or export it, it's easy. I just go to the file. Uh, I can hit share image, which will let me share it using the Windows Phone share menu. So any application that supports uh, image sharing. Uh, or so I can save it to a different album. Now this will sync online to your CAM scanner account. You do need an account to sign in, but it is absolutely free. You get 200 megabytes of free cloud storage to use with it. Uh, or you can pay $5 a year, uh, you get upgraded cloud storage, detailed OCR, no ads, no watermarks, nothing like that. Which, I actually, let's take a look quickly, because I didn't really see, uh, supposedly there's watermarks, maybe it's only when you export. But we didn't notice any in our documents. So, uh, but the premium version, if this is an app you're going to be using a lot, $5 a month or $50 a year uh, is not bad to drop on it at all. So it's a really, it's a full-fledged app uh, with, oops, with great sorting uh, and an excellent camera scanner. Uh, no matter what lighting you're in, we were in, I was in bright lighting today when I was writing this review uh, and the magic setting worked really well. Here when we're in a kind of shadow darker room, the, uh, the black and white setting worked really well. But that's how you manage with cam scanner. So let's take a jump to the new one that everyone's excited about. This is Office Lens. So this is a much simpler app, uh, although it does have some pretty interesting features. As uh, soon as you launch it, you notice it launches right into a camera. So this should give you the hint that this is more of a companion app. Um, and that's what this is. This is a companion app for OneNote users. Uh, there's no management software in here. Uh, this bubble in the upper left hand corner, I can go ahead and click on it. Um, and it will let me review things I've taken, uh, including photos. Okay, but it will not um, allow me to tag and sort everything like Cam Scanner does. Uh, what is nice, the difference in this app is you have different modes uh, for either photo, whiteboard, or documents. So the photo mode takes more saturated. Uh, high contrast style images. Uh, the document supposed to take a little bit contrasty images and whiteboard it takes extreme contrast images uh, which is supposed to help with uh, white, uh, not white balance, with uh, reflections on a whiteboard that you would normally get. So let's go ahead, we're going to do another scan in real time right here. So I'm just going to hold this up. I'm going to shoot a picture. Okay, I get the working on it logo and we get this photo here. Now I'm going to go ahead uh, I'm going to hit the crop button. Now you don't get the magnification that you got on the other app, but it is trying to help me uh, as I crop this. So let's see. It doesn't always work. You know, we'll crop it a little weird there and it will straighten it out. Okay, and then we can go to so if we go back to crop, done. And then we can change the modes. Now here's our issue with this. Um, looking at this, this is supposed to be a scanned document. But to us, it looks normal. It doesn't look like anything has been applied. Cam Scanner applied a very nice uh, layout. And I don't even see anything here. Um, so to us, there's no difference between using the document scanner and using your regular camera. Okay. Um, if you go ahead and you change the mode... Okay, you can change the mode after you've taken it. So we're actually we're going to switch to um, document mode. So here's the same thing. Oops, okay, one second. Okay, whiteboard. Okay, so we, you can see we can kind of change these. So document mode looks the same. Uh, photo mode on this, that's what we actually edited in by accident. But photo and document look the same in this uh, instance. Now whiteboard gives us that really high contrast look uh, that we got with... 
uh, cam scanner. Uh, this one isn't cropped, so let me go ahead and I'll crop this one in. Once again, it tries to help out. It's a little hard on this one. Uh, there's also, on the other one, it magnifies the edges by your crop. Here it doesn't. But you can see, we kind of get the same effect here, but it, it's really not as good. And um, you can see there's some weird digital artifacts going on here uh, from whatever process was used. So we're not really a fan of this. Overall, Cam Scanner seems to do a much better job. Um, Office Lens is just a camera app that, with very little editing ability. Um, and then from here, all we can do is go ahead and we can save it. Okay, so we could save it as a photo to, into OneNote, uh, or we could share it via the uh, the Windows Phone sharing menu. Uh, like usual. So, a little disappointed in Office uh, Lens. It's really cool. It's really excited. It's kind of hit the top of the App Store. Uh, it's been one of the top apps recently. Uh, but Cam Scanner just seems to do the job so much better. We get this great document sorting. Um, the the scanning is just leagues ahead of Office, uh, Office Lens. Uh, and if you do use OneNote, right away you can just tap and save your stuff to OneNote. Otherwise, you might consider just using this app uh, to save all of your documents. It's an app that's been around for a while. It's on multiple platforms. Uh, so we really don't have a concern about it disappearing on you uh, and you losing all your data. Um, and like I said, you can export to OneNote. So both these apps are free in the Windows Phone Store. You can go ahead and check them out. Uh, that's Cam Scanner and Office Lens. Um, Cam Scanner does have premium features, but you're going to find the free version probably, uh, for most people, it will be more than suitable.